have that belief in yourself. A father and son get a chance to engage with each other in this episode. I'm joined here by Karen, my second eldest son. Um, yeah, I think you can have, you can definitely have multiple passions, as I did football, fashion. But I remember we, it's all about balance, really. Um, but for me, fo football was kind of the escape from that. Like it was always good. Um, just love playing, so like you'll get away from all the like the stress and everything that that's involved in it. The number one, definitely leadership. I think um, discipline. You know, the training and stuff, always being on time, um, having to be at a certain place and conduct, conduct yourself in a certain way. The real business is when, you know, there's cash flow and there's customers yeah. who are buying on a regular basis. It may take you twice as long and it may cost you twice as much. So if you prepare for that, you're good. Um, we, and we'll be, we are both creative as well, so we bounce ideas off each other really well. Um, so, I mean, we, can, we could design a whole collection within half an hour, an hour, because we we're so good at you know, bouncing those ideas and getting creative. Mm -hmm. I think challenges of obviously are working with your sister so you can maybe get too comfortable. Um, so you, sometimes you have to snap out of that. Any, any business requires hard work, um, blood, sweat, tears, there's going to be ups and downs, you're working late evenings, it's non-stop. Um, there's always a problem, there's always a challenge, there's always a new issue that, that comes up. You know, based on his research, which is dedicate 10,000 hours into one profession in what you're doing. I mean, I've done it in my speaking career, I've done it as an advisor. I hope to now do it with content online. Um, you're not far off doing that with your football. Uh, eventually you'll get there now with your fashion business. Yeah. You'll get there with your modeling and now when you put that all together, that hard work is going to pay off in many ways. Yeah. So. I had to learn myself how to build the website, how to keep all the stock up to date and everything like that. So Shopify controls all of that. So yeah, in terms of technology, it's kind of all myself. The advice to any young entrepreneur out there is, if you want to start a business, don't just think, um, I'm going to do this for a year and get loads of money and then spend it on this and that and that. I think it's, um, definitely a sacrifice thing. We've always agreed with the children that they should find their own passion. Um, we should look at their gifts, their talents, link it with their passion, find a, solve a problem if we can in the market by creating a product or a service, and off they go and unleash them. Um, but all of these are linked to the family structure. Um, for us, there's still a connection, and that's how we support each other. Having that support, it just allows you to focus on what you're good at the knowledge you and mum ha have of previous businesses, the business you're in now, is just um, priceless. Why, why would I want to wait 10 years when I can start now? We always, or sometimes we can have this thought process, which is when this happens, I'll do this. Uh, when I retire from football, then I'll start a business. And the key words there was starting now. 